The young rapper was originally on probation for committing arson in 2019. <laughs> what the f- Bro, whoa, bro, bro. Do it! You scrawled on this video to do it! It's your boy daddy, Scobar Drew Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have a crazy video. Apparently this kid right here is like the youngest freaking... I don't know. He deserved to be in jail, apparently. That's what I'm seeing from the title and that thumbnail. I don't know the kid personally, but I think he's like seven or, or eight or something like that, and he already has multiple bodies. And I'm not talking about like he be clapping people. He be clapping people. <laughs> it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? We finna watch this, though. I'm, I'm extremely excited for this video. I'm curious to see what the heck going on, because how does a child even have this in their head automatically at such a young age? Like, from the thumbnail, he looks no more than like eight. And he already has multiple bodies. It didn't just happen one time. I think he has multiple bodies. That's what the title be saying. I don't know. We finna watch this together. Let's go, bro. 12-year-old Fort Worth rapper sentenced to seven years over shooting one-year-old. We got a 12-year-old baby savage by the name of Lil Rodney. I was trying to see could at least give me one more chance. I was thinking when I the young rapper was originally on probation for committing arson in 2019. <laughs> what the f bro, 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 bro. Okay, so I was I was gonna I was gonna try and not pause it. I was gonna try and not pause it. He's 12. We got that. He's 12. Either way, super young. He he offed a child, a one-year-old baby. Off the one-year-old baby. Off the one-year-old baby. First of all, go to jail. Rot in the jail for the rest of your freaking life freaking bum third of all he committed arson do you know how hard it is to commit arsony arsony is is it arsenal whatever it's called where they set people house on fire he's 12 years old he, how does he even know how to light a match he should be playing roblox asking for robux instead he playing with big glocks with switches on them he want to be a rap he want to be nba young boy this the music has has infiltrated these little kids mind and it has if we traded this little boy, it's crazy. All I was trying to do was go to my friend's funeral. <laughs> All right, guys. So grab a seat, get a snack, and get comfortable because in today's video, I have a very tragic story for you guys. And I'm going to be talking about the story of Lil Rodney and how the world failed him. And I know other YouTubers out there probably haven't even... The world failed him or he failed himself. You can't place the whole... I don't even know about the kid. I ain't fail him. Freaking loser. Heard about this story yet as it's been flying pretty low under the radar. And if they did, they probably thought it wasn't important enough to talk about because, you know, most of them are way too caught up on the 24-7 cycle of pointless internet drama that really doesn't have that much impact on the real world for the most part. Anyway, let's talk about Rodney. So Rodney is a 12-year-old rapper from Fort Worth, Texas, who's currently serving a seven-year jail sentence for shooting a one-year-old baby. El arroz Mahatma de siempre so también crazy. disponible yeah. en bolsillo. That headline, they don't even make no fucking sense. Receta, that headline doesn't make a single amount of freaking sense, and that's what pisses me off. There's no way in heaven that this little boy should be serving a seven years. First of all, only seven years? If some little boy is off my little, my, my little baby, and they give him seven years, I'm going to make... <laughs> I ain't gonna say it on YouTube, but you know what the heck I'm saying. The seven years go be seven years somewhere else and convert seven years to eternity. You heard that right. A gun that Rodney had in his possession was fired and hit a one-year-old child. Now, based on my understanding, the details under how and why the gun was fired are unknown. Like, I tried turning into my alter ego, Detective Destiny, to find out why this kid decided to shoot a literal baby but I couldn't find any specific details. However, my best assumption is that he wasn't specifically targeting the baby because that wouldn't have made any sense. Like, what, do you, what does he have against a baby? That's what like, I'm saying. Nobody beefs with babies because for starters, they can barely walk or talk. I mean, unless this kid just has some special affinity toward hating what are essentially just old people in baby form, the theory of him being out here in these streets targeting a baby out of revenge wouldn't make it warm. The theory of him... Why this man look grown and a little boy at the same time? This dude over here. <laughs> Pissing me off. Being out here in these streets targeting a baby out of revenge wouldn't make any sense. 
The more likely scenario, though, is that he was playing with an illegal gun, you know, the gun went off by accident, and the bullet flying out of the chamber in an unspecified direction accidentally hit a one-year-old child who was passing by. However, according to an article from HotNewHipHop.com, it says a young aspiring rapper will spend the next seven years behind bars after he was found guilty of shooting a one-year-old child. Lil Rodney, also known as 30 Shots and Baby Savage, was just 11 years old when he reportedly shot the toddler. Rodney from Fort Worth, Texas had already been in trouble with the law in connection to an arson, so he was fitted with an ankle monitor. The young rapper- Where's his parents? Who is his parents? Does anyone know this kid? Does anybody claim this child? Told a judge that he cut the monitor off because he wanted to attend the funeral of a friend. However, he couldn't provide the friend's name. Cause he lies. So yeah, uh, that's a lot of stuff to unpack. And by the time this kid gets out of jail, it'll be the year 2028. You know, the iPhone 7 would have been released. Cars will no longer require human beings to drive them. And the cure for all cancers would have been found. In all seriousness though, this kid is royally fucked. Especially since he has a prior criminal record for intentionally setting things on fire. And I, I don't know the specifics of what exactly he set on fire as he's a minor and I believe those details could not be shared to the public because of his age but obviously you gotta be a little bit unstable to be setting shit on fire Literally. for fun although after doing some digging around i did manage to find a video of either lil rodney or one of his associates setting one of their friends who was sleeping in his car on fire check it out wait a minute Wait, is that his face or a hoodie? So yeah, as you can see in the video, you know that man or the kid. That, that is stupid. Do they know that could go off and then the car could just blow up and they all die? Do they know that? Freaking stupid idiot. And what? Who is their friend? This is not your friend. If your friends do this to you, this is not a prank. A prank is putting whipped cream on somebody's face talking about ha 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 ha. This ain't a prank. Whoever he is, he was just trying to catch some Z's. He was just, you know, taking a nap, trying to rejuvenate his body and soul. And then you got these weirdos out here who are intentionally setting fire to his head. And I don't know how far that fire got, but it looked like it was burning right through the, the hood and straight to his hair. Literally. Like, my God, what in the... But anyways, as for the one-year-old Rodney shot, reports indicate that the baby did indeed survive the shooting. It says here in a report from jordanthriller.com, police allege Lil Rodney shot a one-year-old baby after he cut off his ankle monitor, which- The baby survived, that's lit. You one years old and you already done beat the odds. You cannot fail, you cannot. He had to wear due to a previous arson charge. The baby miraculously survived. And luckily for Rodney, that kid survived because instead of getting out at 19, he would have been getting out of jail with a, a full head of gray hair and a full beard. Reports say- Still send him to jail for that long, bro. Stop playing with me. Say that he's also in a gang, the Crips, and goes by the name 30 Shots or Baby Savage. <laughs> All right, so y'all know the baby savage, the 12 year old, uh, little Rodney. The first time we reported on him, he pretty much was given an op to beats because his ops had dissed on an ape gang guy, J Dub. You don't Channel have five. ops, you're three years But old. anyway, for his crimes, Rodney had to appear in court in front of a man named Judge Kim, who he's come across many times in the past before, and he had to hear how his future would be judged. You do have a right to remain silent. Give up the right to anything you say at a detention and cannot be used against you at any other type of court setting. All right, so Rodney, you and I are familiar with each other. You are 11 years old. Wait a minute, yesterday was your birthday. Yes, sir. Now you're 12 years old. So, well, happy birthday. I'm sorry you had to spend it here at a detention facility. All right, so you were here for your own probation for arson. Why are you sorry that he has to spend? He should be sorry he's spending it there. Face the consequences of your freaking actions. You stupid. I gotta stop. That is from 2019. Then we've had all kinds of problems most recently. Wait, pause right here. This is the juvenile's parent. This is his dad? His dad is white? No wonder he mad. I let you go. I've, you come in and out. I've always let you go because you're so young. I mean, you're 11, you're 11 years old. 
right? So I didn't want to keep an 11 year old in here. Now there is definitely a new charge that was filed really back to April. And that's the one where you shot the one year old, Mr. Spence? Yes, yes, your honor, it is. Like a one year old baby? Yes. Okay. All right, so he's on probation for arson. He's accused of shooting a baby at 11 years old and he's smoking weed. Yes, your honor. Okay. All right. Yes, so, Mr. Moore, what should I do at this point? Like, where am I at? I don't know, but I was trying to see could you at least give me one more chance and then see if, if, if this time I mess up, you should like hold me for some months. Yep. Hold you for months? hold you for months sir you're going to jail like i ain't holding you for no months and i'm not giving you another chance you could shoot another baby be realistic bro but didn't you say that last time you told me you told me you hold you for a year last time if i messed up didn't you never said that i don't remember what yeah you told me that i can hold you next time give me one more chance actually you said that two two times so i remember the last time i said well that's what you said last time why should i why should i believe you this time so as you can clearly yeah, see don't believe the little boy the little boy is a menace to society see rodney was asking judge kim for a second chance like any kid in that situation would but the reactions from everybody watching when he said that says it all i mean it's clear as day that rodney doesn't understand the gravity of the entire situation he doesn't seem to have a firm grip on the reality of the circumstances i guess he just doesn't understand that shooting a baby is something that most people would be locked away in prison for the rest of their lives for literally Stop. Come on, bro, with the ads, man. Come this on. Year, you really have to see this. I'm going to show you Who's one this simple old man trick. with no upper lip That'll on my screen? a lot of money. All I was trying to do was go to my friend's funeral. And I asked Mr. Spence. And he said no. And then I missed Javi and stuff because I was in here. And every time, I hurt every time I miss one of my friends. So, I like I to 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 crying. Shut up, little boy. If I was to judge me, I would start laughing at this little boy. I promise you that. The funeral. And Mike didn't let me go. <laughs> I didn't know my <laughs> friend laughing. Shut up. <laughs> and then, I just had to. Uh, I didn't want to be more. I think Judge understands your point at this point. Okay, uh, so, so they, allowed, they, they want guns at the funeral? Is that where you're trying to go? <laughs> he pulls out the picture of the, with him with the Glockiana with the AK. Ah! No, that was that was a long time after the funeral, Your Honor. Pretty sad stuff, to be honest, and I, I kind of feel bad for the kid. But I do think that the judge is doing him a favor by putting him in a juvenile detention center because oftentimes in situations like this, y you have no other options, especially when they are repeat offenders. Y you know, it's better to get them off the streets and put them in facilities with professionals in hopes that they can help them hop off the dangerous path that they're all unfortunately on. And now the thing you guys are probably all wondering is how? How did a kid who's only been alive for only 12 years, born in 2008, and not even a teenager yet, end up in such a compromised position Literally. in life? Well, it all started on the day of September 15th in the year 2008. And on that day, Rodney was born to a 16-year-old mother whose father quickly abandoned him after he was born. Rodney's mom, now being a single mother with an already troubled life of her own, was now tasked with a responsibility that she was definitely not ready for. In an interview, I found that Rodney's mom took after- This is Rodney's mom? This is her mama? Are you kidding me? After his hearing with Judge Kim, the interviewer asked her what happened to his biological father, and this is what she had to say about him. What, what happened with his biological father? I mean, nothing happened to him. He was kind of new school, high school. You know, sweethearts or whatever you got in. And like when I got older, she he didn't ever act like he wanted to step up. So she, I never looked back at nothing. I just. I stepped up for all his part and mine this whole time. I never looked back. You stepped up. What did you step up to? The dinner table? That was not nice. But that's the truth. You didn't step up. How you stepped up? Where is she ain't even on the Zoom call when he's in court. That's time to be working on child support or what he gonna do. No birthdays, Christmas. He just non-existent to me. I don't look for him. 
he don't look to me and that's cool like. so you see rodney from the time he came into this world he was already at a major disadvantage and the mom acts like she's totally fine with some dude knocking her up at 16 and leaving her with a baby boy Who all to herself to raise. but we all know that she's hurt by the fact that he never came back once to see his son but despite that fact she said she stepped up and tried to fill the shoes for both mother and father for Rodney. But like I said before, with her being 16, having a troubled life of her own, and obviously not being ready to be a mother, she does admit that she has been to jail two different times since Rodney's been alive. I went to prison, I've been to prison twice. That's the only thing that ever kept me away from my son. It was just six months at a time when he was younger. Mm. So I guess it wasn't really that impactful, but it was. And of course, she doesn't disclose the types of crimes she was locked up. Right now, what y'all think she went to jail for? Right now, what y'all think? I'm a guess. I'm a guess. Scamming. But she don't like a scammer. But nothing else is only getting you six, six months. Credit card fraud. Probably something like that. I, that's what probably what it is up for so i can't accurately judge how messed up of a person she might actually be but if anything is a good indicator of how damaged she is as a person and a mother it's the way her son rodney turned out to be with being in a gang you know committing arson rapping about criminal behavior smoking weed on camera and a plethora of other things you know kids are often a reflection of their parents and their environment they're like little sponges that soak up every little thing good or bad and those are the things that mold their character into the people that they will one day eventually be numerous fact. studies that i've read personally have shown that the first seven years of a child's life are the most important as that is when their brains are rapidly developing its mapping system and based on an article from harvard they say data from Harvard University shows that the brain develops rapidly during the first years of life. Before children turn three years old, they're already forming one million neural connections every single minute. These links become the brain's mapping system formed by a combination of nature and nurture, especially serve and return interactions. Now, I'm not going to get into what nature and nurture is or what serve and return. Stuff. Talk about the kid more dangerously toxic environments where their days are filled with nothing but perpetual darkness typically end up becoming cold-hearted abusers themselves when they grow up. Unfortunately, that's most likely what's going to happen to Lil Rodney unless he can have some sort of strong father figure like mentor to give his life a complete 180 in the opposite direction that he's currently heading in. Sadly though, that most likely won't happen for him or for the thousands of other kids currently in his position. And I will acknowledge that the issue is much deeper than what I'm willing to cover in this video as it would take way too much time to talk about, but I am hoping that Lil Rodney can get the help that he desperately needs so that he, he can at help. least have a chance at having a future. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. Share and like the video if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel. That's the end of the video, bro. Shout out. Shout out. There's no one to shout out for this, honestly. Like, Lil Rodney, bro, what is you doing? If you're watching this right now, Lil Rodney, you need, you need help from somebody. You need, like, this guy said, a mentor or something that's going to turn you the other direction. You know what I'm saying? You need somebody that's going to make you realize what the heck you're doing is not cool. It's not fun. And I don't know why these kids be thinking. Well, I know why. It's like the music is definitely an influence. The music it is society is like definitely an influence to that i'm not gonna lie to you especially when that's all they're hearing and then they see older dudes glorifying that lifestyle and all this stuff like come on bro be realistic bro like be realistic this stuff ain't cool this stuff is not it's not it's not none of it is cool like realistically and if you watching this you think this is cool you want to be a, a little rodney 2.0 have fun in jail getting your yo i was about to say getting your booty hole turned out but i don't want to get that vocal with y'all that's what i do Hey, that's what's gonna happen to you, little boy. You know what I'm saying? But that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. If y'all enjoyed this video, I highly suggest y'all watch this video right here. Literally, this dude, right? I y'all ain't gonna spoil it. Just watch this video. It's freaking crazy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil it. Just watch it, bro. Anyways, I'm gonna see y'all out.